Hey, Remote Pilot 101, Jason here. Welcome to the Shepherd house, the Shepherd kitchen. To be more specific, I, I saw the new SFAR. I literally sat down, didn't want to waste any time and get this information out to you. The FAA has finally given us their guidance on what about recurrent tests? During COVID-19, why well, can't take a test? Well, they issued something called an SFAR, a special FAR, so a special uh, federal aviation regulation. So an amendment to. Let me read to you what it means for us part 107 pilots. Aeronautical knowledge and recency, we're talking about 10765 in the Code of Federal Regulations. Those needing a recurrent test or recurrent online course, part 61 pilots, may complete online training as an alternative between April 2020 and June of 2020. Those needing recurrent can complete the FAA-developed initial or recurrent online training courses on faasafety.gov uh, one time to establish recency that will be valid for six months. Remote pilots, though, will still need to complete their recurrent test to establish recency of knowledge after six months. So, April to June of 2020, if that is when you were due to take your recurrent test, Instead of going to the PSI testing center, because it's closed, because you don't feel comfortable, whatever that may be, instead of doing that, you can go online to faasafety.gov and you can take their initial or their recurrent drone online course and test. It's really more of a test. You take that, you print out the results, and you're good for six months. However, you still have to take the proctored recurrent test sometime within that six month extension, because after that you are truly expired. So please keep that in mind. This isn't, a, this isn't how you renew for 24 calendar months, two more years. This just buys you six months. It is free on faasafety.gov to take this, this little test. It's hardly any questions. It's very hard to fail. It'll be easy for you to get through. Print it out, save it, add it to your flight kit. Then your six months starts ticking from then. Your six months ticks and you need to then schedule with PSI to take the real recurrent test that you were supposed to from that April to June timeframe. I'm sure you'll have a ton of questions on this. Myself, the Remote Pilot 101 team will be standing by in the comments on YouTube, on Facebook, on RemotePilot101.com to answer any questions you may have. So we are here to serve you all. Don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you all in next week's video.